Now that we fix the problems with the data not meeting the assumptions and they're more or less normal and with more or less equal variation, we, we can now run a valid test. So let's do that and see what the results look like after the transformation. Here is the equation for running a t-test of means for variances that are equal, which we more or less have now. The p-value is 10 to the minus 12 power, so it's an extremely tiny p-value, which indicates that the response of the roach's eye to red and blue light is quite different. We can see some estimates here of the 95% confidence intervals, and we're also getting an estimate of the two sample means here. But one of the problems is that those sample means are in log form. Since the sample means that are displayed in the test results are in log of voltage and not voltage, this is not really going to be very meaningful for anybody who looks at the data. So whenever you do a transformation, you need to back transform the data so that it's on the original scale of where it was before. You basically need to do the whatever function is the reverse of the one that you did the transformation for. We did a natural log transformation, which is if you, if you say log and you don't specify any base, it'll be natural log. So e to the x power is the inverse function of natural log. And in R, you do the uh, function e to the x power. That is written as exp. At this point, I'm basically going to use R like a calculator. I just constructed a vector that had the blue and red log means in it. And then I took the exp, which is e to that vector to produce the transformed values of the blue and red means. Let's run that, transform the values and here are the results that I get. So to compare the results in one screen, the mean estimates for the log of the means is 2.2 and 0.7, which does not really have any uh, clearly discernible relationship with the voltages that we were using in the experiment, unless you can sort of do natural logs in your head, which most of us can't do. When I back transform them, then it makes a lot more sense. The estimated average for blue was about 9.4. And if we look here, we see 9.4 is pretty close to the peak of this uh, histogram skewed though it is. The estimated mean for red is 2.1. And we can see at least with this very long tail here, that this seems like a reasonable location for the peak of this histogram as well. So by doing the back transformation, we end up with estimated mean values that make sense in terms of the units that we did the experiment in.